Hello everyone, my name is Yellow and welcome back to this episode 8 of Smackdown. Here comes LeBron with the Rico Season Mode and we're in Newcastle, England, my hometown for the Insurrection pay-per-view and we seem to have this pay-per-view like every two weeks and I don't understand but like you've seen on the last episode at the end of it Vince got, I mean not Vince, JR got sucker punched at the end by Vince and I don't know why, but uh, we're at Insurrection anyway, <laughs> to find out what's going on. So hopefully we get to find out some machine dig, and maybe something will happen, maybe not. I don't know, but it looks like the screen's froze already, which is always a good start, so I'm going to skip forward to where something happens. Okay, so we're back, and we have Eddie Guerrero and Coachman here. So, Eddie, we heard you had a major announcement tonight. <laughs> it looks like Eddie's so bored, he's fallen asleep. Coachman, come on, you've got to be a bit of a better interviewer than this. I mean, Eddie's literally fallen asleep. He doesn't want to hear it, Coach. I know Eddie's woke up. Yeah, I have something to tell all these chaps out here. Is he trying to be English with the, with the chaps that... <laughs> Tonight, you will see a great champion at work, the US Champion SA. Oh, and I have a challenger in mind. Ah, uh, let's see. Rico, you. <gasps> it looks like I've got a match against Eddie for the US Championship. This will be no ah, <laughs> okay, this will be a non-title match because you are not a contender yet. Ah. A match has just been made and the US Champion will be in it. So maybe if I defeat Eddie here, then I'll get a ch <laughs> I'll get a chance at this championship. Look at Coach Run. What is that face? <laughs> Look at it. Wow. Um, okay. Well, the UK fans have to be pumped about it. They get a chance to see the US champion in action. Yes, we do. Uh, it would have been quite special though if I had a match against Eddie in my hometown for the US championship. But no. Apparently not, but I do have monies now, so I can buy stuff. So should I buy tires? Wait, no, because I oh wait, I'll buy Rico's attire because I can use it in season mode. Okay, so how do I change attire? Is this no? Of course that's not. How do you change it? Profile? No. It says you can use it in season and exhibition, doesn't it? It did say that, didn't it? You can use these attires in exhibition and season. Yeah. So how do you do it? I don't know. Anyway, um, wait, I'll have the tributes to add. I have 17. Does anything cost 17? No, that's 20. Um, hmm. Okay, not yet. Anyone backstage? No one's backstage. Okay, looks like I'm going into my match with Eddie. Yes, proceed. There it is, right in the middle there. Rico vs. Eddie Guerrero. But first match is a fatal four way. Steven Richards, Charlie Haas, Ultimo Dragon, and Chavo Guerrero. My money is on Ultimo Dragon. Yes, I got it right. And then here we have Eddie Guerrero versus me, versus me, Rico. So can I not change the tires? Oh wait, I can. Panther business suit. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna buy it. Okay, let's get into the match.
So here we go, we are in the match now, and I couldn't have picked, well, I couldn't have had a better opponent to be in Newcastle, England. And look at this suit that Rico is wearing for the match. I don't even know what to say. I think this is one of the only games that has two different referees, depending on what brand you're on as well. Which is cool, because the SmackDown ref is different to the Raw ref, but oh! What a big punch then. Eddie just killed the ref, I think. Yeah, he did! Quick, get a weapon! Get a weapon! <laughs> Rico, quick! Get one, get one, get one, get one, get one! Yes, there we go. We've got a... What is this? It's a sledgehammer. Oh! Uh oh, he reversed. Okay. Okay. Is the ref off yet? No, he's not. Oh. Chug him out! Quick, 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 quick! The ref's getting up, the ref's getting up! Put it down! He didn't... <laughs> he didn't say anything. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I couldn't have hoped for a better opponent for my hometown against Eddie Guerrero. And it looks like if I can beat him, I might get a future shot. Because he said I'm not a challenger yet. But in the future, hopefully, if I can beat him, that's gotta be something. I mean, come on, if you can beat the US champion, you've gotta have something there. Yes? No? I'm pretty sure that would be right. Yeah. Oh, it's there, sir. I've already got a finisher because we've been hitting him with the, the sledgehammer. So I think I might try to finish him off early. Boom! Spin kick of doom. That's pin. That's it, ref. One. Two. No, he kicked out a two. Oh. Kick. Side kick. Punch. Oh, no. Okay, Eddie's got me. Eddie's got me. Oh, God. What a close line by Viva la Raza, Eddie Guerrero. Big drop kick knocks him down. Let's see if we can roll. <laughs> roll! In your suit. Your panther suit. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. <laughs> I wish I could be as trendy as Rico. I've heard he's a police officer now. I wonder if he still has those mutton chops of doom. Look at those things. Whoa. There's a. Uh, something. <laughs> I don't know how he got into the police business though, I mean, people would have known him for being a wrestler and then he just turns up at the police force like, yeah, I kind of want to get a job. You think a lot of people after seeing him having his whole gear set up and everything, he'd just be like, what? What is this? <laughs> he can't be a, a police officer like that, but I don't know. It would have been an interesting process for him. <laughs> oh, oh, keep punching, keep kicking. Oh, sidekick. Boom! The drive kick nearly knocks him out of the ring. Oh, what's he doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's this? Oh no, Eddie! Whoop! Flip and knocks out the legs. And goes after the leg. Whoa, what's he doing? What are you doing, Eddie? I see his momentum bar isn't going up too quick, but then again, he hasn't hit too many moves. Um, I mean, I've already had a finish and I've got half a bar again, so... It's looking good for me, kind of, I guess. Yeah, I would say so. Oh, knees to the face and it hurts the midsection because that makes sense. Here we go, let's just get rid of all that dust off the suit. Yes, I just got that torn in there. Eddie just kicked me after it, which means I'm like one move away from a finisher. Let's get a super kick. Oh, connect. Uh, Eddie's out, but we're going to hit a finisher anyway. Oh no, he's reversed. I set the other finisher. I've hit one, I'll hit the other one this time. Reverse. There we go. Turn around, Eddie. Not like that. Okay, let's try and get him in the center of the ring. Oh, oh. I've got. I can he even drag in this game? I don't know. I do not know. Oh, I've been hurt finally in the midsection. Here we go. Oh, big kick. That's it. Eddie could be out. Eddie. Eddie Guerrero. One. Two. Three. That has done it. I've just picked up a win over the U.S. champion. Oh yeah! So there we go. And I think... I think the game's done something wrong here. Oh god! I think it has, so... If it doesn't, I'll skip forward. Okay, so we're back and we can taunt, attack or respect and... Uh, it's either going to be either taunt or respect because... It's Eddie. He's been all cocky, saying you're not num you're not worthy for a championship match yet. 
because he's not a contender. So I'm thinking we taunt him. Yes, let's do it. I've just beat the champion. What word? Of course I'm going to taunt. And we shall see what happens. I mean, hopefully it just it pays off well and the taunt actually works because I don't want it to backfire. I don't want to be that guy who taunts and then Eddie will jump back up miraculously and start attacking me for no reason. But it looks like the game's for us anyway, so again, I'll skip forward. But yeah, we are. Rico celebrate, and now he's just one in his amazing suit. It's great. Eddie's down. Eddie Guerrero with his pencil mustache there. <laughs> so what's gonna happen? Oh, I thought I thought I was gonna taunt Eddie. Whoa, whoa! Where's his pupils gone? There they are. <laughs> Rico completely lost his eyes there. They were just completely white, pulling an Undertaker there. I was expecting him to taunt Eddie, as if, like, to say, ha ha, I've just beat you. But no, he just, he just celebrated the win. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. Uh, anyway, the third match, Undertaker vs. Brock Lesnar, Hell in a Cell. I think Undertaker's got this. No, Undertaker, you disgust me. First, you just leave me, and then we lose the Tag Team Championships. And you haven't spoke a word to me, you haven't phoned me, you haven't emailed me, you haven't left me a note or anything, you've just left. <laughs> Why? Ah, oh, it was going so well, Undertaker. Anyway, I'm glad you lost anyway, and I won! Ha! Ha! In your face! Pfft. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> uh, still can't believe we lost. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Uh... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and other than that, I guess I will see you next time.